This is a Fox News alert. We're learning that a federal operation to keep firearms out of the hands of the Mexican drug cartels may have, in fact, done exactly the opposite. Thousands of weapons that were meant to be tracked by federal agents under Operation Fast and Furious have fallen into the hands of the bad guys. William Lajeunesse has reported extensively on this story, and he joins us now live from Los Angeles. William, what's the, what's the latest in all of this? You know, Martha, there are a lot of good agents at the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and they told their bosses at the time, do not do this. Don't let those weapons be sold to known smugglers for the purpose of seeing where they end up to expose the criminal enterprise. Listen closely to what whistleblower John Dotson told me back in March when no one else was listening. What people don't understand is how long we're going to be dealing with this. All right, those guns are gone. They're gone. We can't, if somebody give the order right now, go get them and bring them back. It can't be done. Okay? There's no telling by the time one is recovered in a crime how many previous crimes it committed before we got to it. Well, now we know that the U.S. government knowingly, purposely, and deliberately flooded Mexico with guns. Police found five of our AK-47s at a cartel warehouse in April in Juarez. Another was used to shoot down a Mexican helicopter. Two others were used in a shootout that left 11 dead in Jalisco three weeks ago. Mexican officials are furious and say up to 150 of their people have been shot by guns traced to this operation. Martha? Boy, what, a, what a terrible uh, story that is. William, thank you. This is a